All right, guys. Now, this is a very random video, and I don't even know why I'm making a full video about it, but I know it's very important. Now, one of my biggest mistakes when I started learning Blender was not caring about perspective, not caring about the actual real scale of how it will be in, in real life, right? For example, a human being can only be as big as a human being, right? A car can only be as big as a car. And one thing I really, really effed up was sometimes I would just bring my character, which is a size of, let's say, and for an example, a size of a building. And then when I would add depth of field or try to give some realism feel to it, it will just not sit right. So I definitely learned the hard way. So I don't want you guys to make the same mistake. And uh, in this video, I'm going to jump to Blender here. I'm going to introduce you to Bob. This is basically a very funny rough model I made just to demonstrate for you guys how important this is. By the way, I'm going to give you guys this sticky model so you can actually save it uh, in your default startup and you can start based on the size of this because this is the actual real scale of a size of a human being. But let me quickly just demonstrate what I mean. So if I bring the camera closer here, let's add a sun. Maybe I can add also a material here just to make it visible. Hi, it's me again in the editing room. I just realized that my face was covering all the information I wanted to show you. So I'm just going to repeat what I did right now. So let's go ahead, go to Blender again. Now, very similar scene. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get closer with, uh, with the camera. Now, if you're familiar with photography, guys, you have something called depth of field. And uh, I'm just going to add depth of field. I want to focus on this on the on the sticky model Bob. And uh, I'm just going to decrease the F stop here. You can see this reacts the same way that a lens, a real lens in real life would react. Like if you have a lens with 0.8 f-stop, it will give you the exact result as you see here. Now, I think that's a bit extreme. You can go lower with Blender. You can go low as 0.1, but I think that's a bit extreme. I don't know if there are lenses that goes that low with f-stop. I've seen 1.2. But you get the point now, if I do the exact opposite, right? Which what I was doing in the beginning of my learning curve. All right. Now, let's say you have this giant Bobby sticky model. I don't know why I even call it sticky, <laughs> but it looks like a stick for me. But let's see this. This is more like. Um... All right, let's let's. Right now what you see here all right this is a giant this is a giant size and i did not realize that in the beginning i just thought everything works like you know as it should but the camera is not going to react the same way so if we go all the way down to 0 0.1 it will not even affect you see it barely affects because the lines and distance, as you can see, is just further and just way bigger. The object is way, way bigger. It's more like a building, right? So again, this is one of the common mistakes I see most people do. So I just wanted to demonstrate. And if you still don't understand, just try to play with it. Try to play with the camera, make your objects a bit bigger. Now, obviously, if you go to create new general. I have this sticky model as my default startup so I can start anything and create anything based on this human scale. And I highly encourage you to do the same. Uh, so go ahead and uh, download this, this amazing model named Bob. And let me know what do you think of this video? I, I know this is completely random off script and I'm probably rambling a lot. I just want to share what I know in real time and I'll see you guys in the next one.